What's up y'all, it's your girl Sang, and today I'm in this beautiful neighborhood. Um, I'm actually near that golf course I told you guys about one of the not previous like walking videos. So if I'm still talking by the time we get there, I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I'm also probably gonna shoot like two or three videos while I'm out today, so you're gonna see it at some point. But what I wanted to get into today, I wanted to talk about quiet quitting. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When I first heard that term, I was like scrolling through TikTok and somebody, it was like a, a news clip and somebody was like, um, oh, this generation is revolutionary for what they're doing with quiet quitting. And then I like, I scrolled up cause hearing the term quiet quitting. So I just assumed that what they were talking about was people being sick of their job and you know, finding another job. And once you get hired somewhere else, you just don't tell your current job you leaving. No lie, I thought that's what quiet quitting was because when you hear the term, that's what it sounds like. That's literally what it sounds like. So when I saw that little thing, I was just like, what's revolutionary about quitting without telling your job? People been doing that, so I scrolled. Then I forgot what financial channel I was watching because I'm subbed to like a couple of them. And they all started talking about quiet quitting. So I was like, eh, let me just watch one and see what they talking about. Then I found out what the term really meant. So this, this little blows my mind because I still don't understand it. Quiet quitting means when you go to your job, you don't do no more or no less than what they ask you to do. You just do your job, the, the bare minimum they ask for, and then you go home. And then if they call you and stuff while you at home or on your days off, you just ignore them. And first off, people been doing that for years. That's not something new. I just don't understand the words quiet quitting being attached to that because you're not quitting you still working so I, I don't I don't know to me that is a very stupid term for what this generation is revolutionizing I'll be real with y'all like I'm gonna just be really real with y'all this this generation y'all are just really soft when it comes to a lot of stuff and this ain't nothing new this been done we've been doing this when I was younger, the generation before me and the generation before me, you go to a job because you need money, okay? Because you gotta pay your bills. And yes, most of us don't have careers that we love and, and jumping for joy over. You just have regular jobs, bro, which is okay. I done did videos, reacted to them, and told y'all, you can be an everyday millionaire with a regular old nine to five. You ain't gotta do nothing special, but just go to work, get the check, and make it work for you. That's all you gotta do. So the whole term where it's just like, we're not breaking our backs anymore to give extra and do this and do that. So we're quiet quitting. We're just gonna do what you asked us to do. Okay, cool. You still making the numbers go? <laughs> you, you still hitting the daily outputs and stuff? Let me tell y'all something. There was a study that was done like a couple years ago. I don't really remember the time frame of it, but I remember reading it and basically, it explains the three types of people you have at the job. You have the overachievers, which ain't, a, it's like a small percentage, right? People that go above and beyond, they're the ones that's gonna get looked at for promotions or they're also the ones that's gonna get screwed over and not get the promotion. So they just bounce and go to the next spot because they didn't try again there. Then you have the largest percentage of people at your company, which is the middle people, which would be what this generation calls quiet quitters, which is where y'all literally is like, well, I'ma just do what you asked me to do. Cool, we need people like you to fill the numbers and the percentages for the daily workload. We need people like you just to like, we know it's gonna get us there, right? The people that get abused is the ones at the top, at the very top percentage of that group. The overachievers, companies know they can run them raggy, raggedy to go above and beyond whatever the numbers are supposed to be. Or if we're we close to hitting them, them the people at the top is gonna be like, well, I know they're gonna get us there, right? Cool. Then you have the next smallest percentage, which is the people all the way at the bottom, which are your lazy trash workers, which um, I, I don't know why a lot of companies just let them be there doing whatever they do, because it ain't working. Um, but a lot of companies are soft now, they don't want them lawsuits. So unless those people do something super crazy, to get fired, they just there, you know what I'm saying? So basically what the study said after breaking all that down for y'all, 
the study basically said the people that get messed with the most are the small percentage of people at the top the the overachievers they're the ones that get messed with the most and they're the ones that you know after all the abuse you just leave and go to another company and i think that's something that's not spoken about enough within our generations and our groups because i know coming up i was told by my parents and their generation it doesn't look good when you job hop now i will give you this if you're one of those people where you there a week or two and you actually put that on the resume and that's how your resume look yeah no that's not good but it is okay to stay somewhere for six to 12 months and then move on if they're not giving you what you want so sitting here talking about i'll show them i'll be a quiet quitter you're not doing anything you're falling in that big group of people that's already doing that that the company gonna need anyways so you're not really gonna be looked at for promotions and you're not gonna be really looked at to get fired unless you do something crazy to get fired like steal or some crap so you're not really showing nobody nothing if you're that angry about being up here in this percentage of people at the top and you was busting your butt and you talking to your boss about potential raises and promotions and they're not giving you anything leave that's that's all you gotta do start looking for another job that's that you think is gonna get you to wherever you're trying to go whether that's a financial need or um climbing the corporate ladder whatever it is right leave okay once you find that job if you want to put your two weeks notice in go for it if you live in an at will work state like i do where you ain't got to tell them nothing just like they ain't got to tell you nothing when they fire you bounce <laughs> that's all it is do you know when they when these companies call hr anyways all they're a lot legally allowed to do is verify if um the the time their your date of employment when you started and when you left that's all they're allowed to um legally get get out of the company if you find out otherwise you can sue them y'all gotta start learning y'all laws man but yeah quite quickly y'all ain't doing nothing y'all falling right in the middle of what a company needs anyways to just hit their numbers or whatever they're trying to do okay so y'all it ain't a revolution y'all ain't doing nothing y'all really that mad at your job leave and find something better if you have a job and you just tired of having jobs Figure out what you want to do with your life so it could be a career. Just do that. Or figure out, like I said numerous times on my channel, how are you going to make your paycheck work for you outside of your work hours? So if you want to be one of those people that's just like, oh, I'm going uh, to do just enough to get paid. What are you doing outside of the job that you love to do that you know you can make crazy bank off of and turn that into your actual career or whatever? Start figuring those things out. But yeah that's what quiet quitting is it's stupid that's my take on it so i hope y'all got something out of that <laughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and end this video make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss when i drop a video i drop two to three videos every day unless something happens like i just recently got a cat so um it's two days recently where nothing dropped but i did announce that on my social media as well follow me on social media too so you can just stay up to date with everything but until next time, y'all already know who it is. It's saying.